YouTube, the most important website on the internet. For an hour this week, it was down and not working. And every single YouTuber and their mom was freaking out. You had people like Mr. Beast on Twitter being like, I need to go to college. Animators being like, I need to get a real job. Everyone pretty much knew YouTube was gonna come back up. But to this day, we still don't know why YouTube was down. Except I do, just kidding. But there are some theories which I'm gonna share with you in this video. Enjoy. Now the first theory that I want to debunk because it is so stupid is the most popular theory that something hit the moon. And that there was a video of this impact that went up on YouTube and in order to cover it up, YouTube needed to shut down in order to scrub the website of that footage. Now let me tell you why this is dumb. This is dumb because if you wanted to remove a video from the internet, you need to shut down more than just YouTube. You need to shut down Facebook, you need to shut down Twitch, and you'd still probably not be able to remove it because the internet is ever existing. The internet it's not something that you just dump something on. It's not a big truck. So yeah, this theory is just it's just dumb. Okay, the next theory is one that I actually believe in strongly. This theory is that in order to stop T-Series from overtaking PewDiePie as the number one subscribe channel on YouTube, the nine-year-old army had an idea. An idea so dumb that it might just work. Tell me more. If there is no YouTube, then PewDiePie can't be dethroned. Oh my God. It's quite genius. Except it's not. Next theory! So in recent years, Twitter has become pretty dead in comparison to what it used to be. Hey, irrelevant. So in order to boost the active users, Twitter HQ came up with an idea. An idea so insane that it just might work. Heard that before. They coordinated an attack to take down YouTube so that people would have no other choice but to go to Twitter and tweet about it, thereby increasing Twitter's active users. That's genius. And this worked for about an hour. That was probably the most active hour that Twitter has had in years. That's stupid. So this theory is also pretty stupid. So I bring you to my next theory. Let me ask you something. Who doesn't like YouTube, the cable companies. So in an attempt to stay relevant, the cable companies tried to take down YouTube so that people would go back to cable, which is a pretty dumb idea because they forgot that Netflix existed, okay? You know, stupid cable companies. The only thing stupider than the cable companies are the people who give cable companies money. Just kidding, some people don't have any other option. And I pray for those people every day. May you be blessed with good internet. Anyway, now the last theory that I have for why YouTube went down, it's a juicy one. YouTube was trying to help its creators and solve the demonetization crisis. They had a theory which was, if there is no content, then there's nothing to demonetize and people won't get mad. Brilliant. I mean, it's the perfect plan when you think about it, right? I mean, no YouTube, no ads, no demon. No! Okay, this is, this is f stupid. If you can't tell, all these theories have been jokes. Pretty bad jokes, okay? In more serious news, pew, 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 what is likely to have happened is that there was probably some problem with the backend addressing system that YouTube uses with its CDN, which had something to do with the updates that ICANN is doing to the global DNS. Or maybe some Google employee got really mad that somebody disliked his video, the nerve, so he just decided to burn the whole mother down. Anyway, I've been ridiculous enough for this video. Let me know if you have a theory in the comments below. And as always, never share your password. Don't do it.